Hey, John from Racy Moto. So I'm riding in national title hard enduro on an electric bike. And what I wanted to do was talk about the differences between your two stroke, four stroke and the electric bike from a rider's perspective. The first thing is, can an electric bike compete with your Shercos, your KDMs, your Betas, you know, in a real hard enduro? We're not talking a club level, we're talking a national level event. So the answer is yes. This bike is capable of getting around the majority of these tracks. And I say the majority because I haven't ridden the gold class and some of those are just insane. I'm a bit old for that. But if you look at the expert class that I'm riding in, the silver class, this bike is extremely capable. It gets up the steepest hills. It gets around uh, the track like other bikes. It probably could be ridden a little bit faster than I ride it, but it is a very capable bike. But what I want to talk about is the finer details. So let's talk about some advantages of this bike. The first thing is it's lighter. This one, this Suron Ultra is 85 kilo. That means there's a bit less fatigue from throwing it from side to side, which is an advantage. If you're in a tricky position, okay, you've got less weight to handle. So I think that's a good, good plus. It doesn't have a clutch. Let's talk about that a little bit later. What I want to talk about is instead of the clutch, you've got a back brake. Now having a back brake on the handlebar is an advantage. If you're on a steep incline and you have to get out, you don't have to try and get to your back brake on the other side of the bike. You can hold both brakes on with your hands while you maneuver your bike. You can even do pivot turns by moving the bike backwards on the back brake while you hold the bars. So that's an advantage. Now, let's get back to a clutch. A lot of people say, ah, oh, but it doesn't have a clutch. Yes, okay. It actually technically doesn't need a clutch if you are very good with throttle control. So these bikes have instant torque and off the line, they're as fast as any of the two strokes or four strokes. They just launch, corner to corner they'll launch. Don't have to worry about the gears and the clutches. So technically, if you can master the throttle, you shouldn't need a clutch. Even if you're doing uh, static blips and that, you can actually do it. But it is a bit tricky because you have to have, to have very, very good throttle control. So I would say that probably it is easier to ride in some situations with a clutch. So that's probably a little downside, but give yourself you know, a fair bit of practice and you can master the throttle control to do pretty well anything. So that's, um, that's something that's you know, debatable. It's, you really need to try it to find out. Other advantages are things like lower maintenance, uh, less maintenance to do, you don't have to do air filters, you don't have to do you know, change spark plugs or anything like that. Um, you only have to keep basically the chain adjusted and keep it charged up and keep your tires uh, nice and fresh. Make sure the pressures are right, I'll put mousse in. Keep your suspension tuned up. So there's a lot less maintenance. So overall, I would say that in a hard enduro situation, um, an electric bike has a lot of potential. There's not really enough of the bikes out there to show how capable they are. I'm hoping that we get more of them out there. Um, will they be on the podium soon? Likely not because a lot of the top riders are not gonna take them up. But your average rider, get on them, and I guarantee you'll ride better than you ride your normal bike. What happens is you're able to focus more on the technical aspect. Because you're not worrying about, oh, am I in the right gear, I'm in second gear, am I in first gear, is my clutch right? What you can focus on more is your body position, you're focusing on the track, and then the technical side becomes better. Your riding technically becomes better because you're not worried about all those ancillary things. So if you get the chance, have a go on one, they're better than you think. And I think, you know, eventually people are gonna catch on and definitely as they realize you can ride closer to home, they're gonna be more and more popular. Um, so look, like and subscribe us. We wanna keep you up to date with these bikes. Um, they're getting better and better. We're trying to make as many improvements as we can. 
and uh, you know try and get them as competitive as we can. So we're spending a lot of time riding them and finding out all these little things and we want to share these with you. So like and subscribe us and we'll keep you up to date.